now it's time to configure the layout click layout here so here you can see the content layout is 650 pixel and the wide layout is 1200 pixel and here you can see there is some padding at the top and bottom and on the left and right has some padding so if you want you can remove those padding or you can use your own custom padding from here but i'm not gonna removing any of them from here at the same time if i click over here you can see there is white size if i select white size you can see nothing so it just the white is 1200 pixel and how it looks like here and the content is here so i will explain you the content and the white later on when we are gonna creating the page and there is nothing to share here but except there is one important things inside blocks so basically customize the appearance of specific blocks for whole website which is really helpful let's take a look at our design so let's say for an example we are gonna use our button here globally so we can create this button from here and it will apply the whole website we can use whenever we want and it will display the same style and if you want to create any specific block like button then you can simply choose but right now there is no block item that i can use here but uh it's okay to use uh, something like that only for button but in the near future if you want let's say for an example if i change the button here you can understand easily so select button the button looks like this so i'm gonna change the text color to white color and the font which is poppins and the size should be I have already changed the size but let me change it here as well 14 pixel and the border radius is 10 pixel if I take a look at here it's not exactly 10 it's a 5 pixel border radius let's add 5 pixel and here you can see it looks like this and if you compare there is some padding at the left and right let's configure the padding so this is the padding for left and right let's increase a little bit and see it looks perfect now so we are done with the button here you can add shadow and you can add uh, some other effects here inside the button but I'm not gonna use them as of now the button looks very simple click save change so we are done with all our default block editor uh, typography color and uh, block style now it's time to create our header footer and home page so let's get started and complete one by 